but we did get <laughs> I made sure to get the shareable size so Josh can have some. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori and I am very excited for this week's vlog. We have met up with some friends in Mississippi. We're staying at an Airbnb, but today we are driving over to New Orleans. I'm so excited. We're gonna get beignets. We're gonna walk around and look at all the buildings. I'm bringing you guys along with me. I just finished getting ready. Our van is parked in this really cool little garage kind of pull-in carport thing that is attached to the side of this Airbnb. We've been having such a good time staying here. Got a couple of things that I'm bringing you guys along for this week. And I think I'm probably the last one getting ready. So I'm probably holding everybody up. So let's go. at the Riverwalk food court thing for a bathroom break. I'm outside with Haley and Calvin. I will admit traveling in cities like this with Haley is a little bit more chaotic. We typically don't travel in cities for that reason. She gets very overwhelmed by all the smells and all of the activity. So we'll see how today goes. How are you? Aw, you're not going to say hello? Hey. Wow, that's like really stubborn of you. Okay. Literally getting to have places to your complete self or with a small group, which is right. really nice. It really is. There's a lot less traffic here today than there was the last time. It's going to be hard to go back. Josh and I came here with the van. Mm -hmm. Sun is out. That's the most important thing that's happening here yeah. today. <laughs> this 
palm tree is massive. having a drink. I sent Josh in for a pina colada for me and he came out with this. So <laughs> everyone got one. Though, so. This van is so cool. Like, never seen anything like, oh my gosh, it is. Like, that's like a bike fan house. I love this so much. I'm so happy. <laughs> everybody. New Orleans was so fun but honestly it was a little bit overwhelming. I know that I kind of left you guys in the middle of the day. There was a lot going on. I had Haley on the leash and I felt like I was just juggling a lot of things. I think more and more over the course of this last year I realized that I'm just really not a city person and I feel much more relaxed out in nature. So now that we are checking out of the Airbnb this morning we are headed camping and I'm so excited. So this morning we're getting everything cleaned up. I got the van kind of resituated. After being stationary for quite a few days it's always just like a huge mess in here. So I did some cleaning this morning. I really am gonna miss drinking my coffee on the back patio at the Airbnb. It's been so nice to be able to stay with our friends but still be able to stay at our house too. Um, and it's been so good to see our friends. We have not been in an we haven't really been in Ohio since before Christmas. So I think once we head out here, we have to find water somewhere today. I'm gonna take a shower and cancel my gym membership here in Gulfport. Since our time here in Gulfport is officially over, I'll be canceling that today. Um, I'm really sad to see that go. It's been super nice to have some of my independence back with that. I really enjoy being able to shower whenever I feel like it and I feel I don't know, I feel bad about relying on other people for showers and I also just like the freedom and independence that being able to do that on my own terms gives me so I am going to miss that um, because up north the showers at gyms are still not open last I checked. And then we are going to hit the road. We're headed to a campsite in Tennessee today. Well. It's like nine and a half hours away and like you guys know we don't usually do more than six hours of travel in a day so we'll probably just sleep at a rest area halfway there. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to bring you guys along today for kind of our van errands and kind of getting resituated in the van because when we stay with people for an extended period of time or stay at a certain place you know like when we're visiting people we kind of get away from our standard routines in the van so we're just gonna kind of get resettled we're gonna hang out we're gonna road trip a little bit and next week I'm gonna bring you guys along for camping it has been way too long since I've been in the forest and I'm so excited I can't even explain it to you guys so I'm gonna finish my coffee and we're gonna get moving a horrendously late introduction but this is Calvin. Hey, I'm Calvin. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. Jesse is inside. I did an absolutely horrible job vlogging in the city because I can't handle that. But this is the backyard of the place we've been staying. It is super cute. I'm really going to miss drinking my coffee. You can even see the ocean right through there. Haley has loved having a backyard. Bye, b, &B. In other news, a very exciting turn of events. There is a Whataburger here and I refuse to leave until I have it one more time. If you're from the South, you'll know. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever had a honey butter chicken biscuit for breakfast from Whataburger because I am way too excited. 
Are you excited, buddy? Yeah. I had no idea they had them here in Mississippi, but when we were driving back from Florida, I saw one on a sign, and I was like, oh, oh, we can't leave until we get one. This was such a perfect little parking spot for us. Jesse, Jesse, official review of the honey butter chicken biscuit. So good. First timers. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thanks for a great time. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Took my last shower at the gym here and officially canceled my membership. I'm honestly taking it a little bit harder than I even thought that I would, but I'm clean. And we're gonna run to Walmart before we hit the road. We still do also need to get water today. Um, I think we'll probably drive like two to three hours today, not too far, and then we'll do the other six tomorrow. But we need to get some propane down here because when we were up north earlier, or I guess last year, at the end of last year, we were having a really hard time finding propane like for our little portable heater. Um, and we have been able to find that down here. Not a whole lot of use for it down here, but we will definitely need it up north. So we're gonna stock up on that just in case before we head out. And then probably find a flying J or something along the way for water. Generally speaking, um, there's a couple of those bigger truck stops that will have uh, like potable water, propane fill-ups, and like a dump station. So we usually keep our eyes out for those while we're driving. Yeah, okay, so Josh is waiting on me up front, so. You ready, Haley? Ready to run some errands? We can go to Walmart. Come on. You can go to Walmart. <sighs> Hi, buddy. Hey. Thanks for waiting on me. Uh -huh. Aww. We spent so much time in this parking lot. This is actually the gym parking lot is actually where we got stranded back in January for like three weeks so it kind of feels a little weird leaving here it's like kind of bittersweet like we're just very familiar yeah mm -hmm. bye that gym was actually really nice So Walmart did not have propane, so it seems the winter propane shortage is continuing. We haven't really had issues with this before, so I'm not sure if it's like COVID thing or if it's a winter thing or maybe a little bit of both. So we're just gonna hit up maybe one or two more Walmarts and look on our way to Tennessee. And we also still have to get water at some point along the way. But we did get road trip snacks. <laughs> I made sure to get the shareable size so Josh can have some. Because <laughs> otherwise it's all free. We didn't even leave the Walmart parking lot before we opened our snacks. I don't have hands right now. But... You gotta take it or I'll keep eating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We just put in the directions to where we're headed in Tennessee. It's one of our favorite camp spots in that area. But we actually get to do this whole little B 
Beach Drive. And a quarter mile, oh. turn left onto Beach Boulevard. Goodness, Karen. Well, anyway, we get to drive along the beach for quite a ways before we actually get on the highway. So I think that will be a really nice way to say goodbye. You have popcorn in your beard. <laughs> I know that you are having a hard time right now. That everything seems to crumble around you. Stopping to see if we can't get some water at this uh, travel center here. And Josh said we also need gas. Wow, our diesel price is up to 317. Wow. <laughs> Josh is filling up gas. I just pulled up I Overlander to check and see if I can find some water. We are down here, but I don't want to drive that far off the highway. So it says that there's water at the Flying J here um, outside of Montgomery. So we are going, oh, it even says where in the parking lot. I've really been loving using this app recently. This is probably the most planned out that our traveling really ever gets is like our errand, like long haul travel days. I try and stay on top of knowing where we need to stop because otherwise we tend to just forget and we'll get to our campsite and our sink will run out of water and then we're in a much stickier situation. Yeah. It's gonna get dark soon, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get any good footage, but I'll catch up with you guys probably later this evening when we stop for sleeping. And yeah, I'll see you later. on the truck side tonight. Get that lovely engine hum. Okay, so we made it to a rest area. We didn't quite make it all the way to the Flying J that said it had water. It's just gotten pretty dark and we don't really like driving at night. So we're gonna sleep here tonight. But luckily enough, Josh just said, there's a water spigot here. So that'll knock one of our errands off of our list tomorrow because we were just gonna procrastinate all of it. Nice, okay. nice. And the moon is like out tonight, almost full. I looked it up, it's on Friday, not today. Okay, we're still gonna procrastinate it till tomorrow, but it doesn't have to be an extra stop. We're just gonna make sure we don't forget to do it in the morning. That would be like a classic us thing to do. <laughs> cool, are you hungry? Yes. Sweet. Okay, Josh ran in to use the facilities. One of the perks of sleeping at a rest area is unlimited trips to the bathroom, which we don't usually have. Um, and I'm gonna make us up some Beyond sausages for dinner. Try to bring a lot of balance into my diet, so I eat plant-based most of the time, 
but I would not call myself a vegetarian or a vegan. Yeah, so I didn't really feel like cooking too much and this is kind of just the quick and easy option that I've got in the fridge right now. So we picked up some hot dog buns. This is where we keep things when we drive that we don't have room for anywhere, but this kind of keeps them secure. So we got buns, Beyond sausages, and then a kind of a fun thing that we've started doing recently when we stay at rest areas, we have like a rest area date night. So we'll walk to the vending machines that are inside and each pick out like a treat. Um, if we get a little bit snacky in the evening, um, <laughs> we just kind of started doing this and it was super fun, so. Are you sleepy girl? We're all kind of sleepy. Long drives just really kind of take it out of us. I'm gonna start dinner now. <laughs> of course, they're like buried at the bottom. Oh. <laughs> Hi, baby. No, it's not for you. I shall we. No, it's not for you. Josh is like way better at fitting everything in here than me. Okay, here we go. Replace the buns with the pan. It definitely is very Tetrisy to get everything to fit in this drawer, especially with how gigantic this pan is, but we love it, so. sink out this morning. <laughs> Nothing happened guys, it's fine. This bathroom and the girl's like, well, I'm gonna cry now and the last person I wanna That was such a horrible game. mustard and job. She looks at her and she goes, well, now <laughs> we pause my podcast. I've been listening to Eamon and Beck. Eamon and Beck's podcast is called Reroute, I wanna say. Yes, and the other one I really like, van related, is My Solo Road. I will drop both of those in the description box. I'm gonna eat my Beyond Dog. Dog cheers. Tink. <laughs> okay, so we're skipping the vending machines. I had a bowl of cereal because I didn't wanna go outside. We are going to go to bed early. <laughs> it's nine o'clock but we're gonna get up early and hit the road early because we have a lot of errands that we didn't do today that we're going to do tomorrow. And I'm gonna let the lovely sound of a bunch of trucks in this parking lot lull me to sleep. Good night. Morning. We're filling up our water. It smells like what? Girl, good morning. Yikes, got some serious bedhead this morning, y'all. fresh out of bed this morning. Josh made our coffees for us, dragged me out of bed, put my butt in the chair, and said we were hitting the road. We are really trying to be there before dark so we can kind of get settled and enjoy camp for the night. I was really lucky that we found water here. Save us some time today. You gonna be a good driver? Where's your dad? Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs>
we just keep our hose right here in this door and it's super easy to grab and fill up. This rest area reeks. I didn't notice it last night, but now that I've gone outside, ugh. I am wearing the same thing that I wore yesterday. I won't tell anybody if you guys don't tell anybody. <laughs> I do that a lot more often when we're in cities or public places. I won't bother putting pajamas on because it's a little easier for me if I just kind of wake up in something that I can go outside in in the van. But when we go camping, I will get full on cozied up. So looking forward to that. Walmart was a no-go on propane again, so it's looking like it might be a very cold rest of the winter for us once we get back to Ohio. So I guess now we just gotta get to camp and we need to pick up some firewood on the way, but we'll probably do that at a gas station next time we fill up. Got about seven hours left. Let's go camping! See some mountains. Very gloomy drive today. Hi, Haley. Another Walmart didn't have propane and they also didn't have firewood and the gas station we stopped at didn't have firewood either and i think i have officially decided that this is why it takes us so long to get everywhere on travel days because we also try and run errands and we end up just spending the entire day going to different walmarts looking for the same thing <laughs> so we still have to get firewood and i think we may just need to like invest in a diesel heater like for next winter because finding propane seems to be an issue currently. Since we've lost a little bit of time with all the stops today, we're not going to make it to the place we were going to go before dark, so I found a place a little bit sooner outside of Chattanooga that we're going to stop instead so we can get there before dark and then we'll move again on Sunday somewhere else. That's kind of one of the really good things about the van though, is that we can like completely change our plan in the middle of the day with no problems. We do that a lot. What are you doing back there, Haley? Are you ready to go? You gonna ride in the bed this time? Okay, I love you. Are you ready to go? Mm -hmm. I'm ready to go. I made myself a full afternoon rainy day drive cup of coffee oh my gosh it's steaming up the window we ended up taking a scenic route because there was kind of a lot of wrecks in chattanooga but we're in this really cute little mountain town they still have christmas lights up in march wait it's still february mm -hmm. <laughs> how you doing bud i'm good how far are we hour and 20 minutes i've just been editing this whole time josh fills me in when we pass something cool or like cross the state line or things like that <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's gonna be a rainy night at camp, but we didn't get firewood, so that might be fine. <laughs> We 
we have decided this is the spot for the night. There was a creek back a ways with a lot of tent camping spots there and some little pull-offs. There was a tent over there, so we kept coming a little bit further up and we're just gonna sleep at this little pull-off because there's a really pretty view out the front windows in our sunroom. And then we can go down by the creek and explore and have a campfire if it stops raining. And yeah, this was a really pretty drive in and there was nobody here. We're in the forest. I'm super excited, but I'm kind of exhausted. So I think we're gonna end this vlog here and I will pick up with you guys here again <laughs> next Sunday. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. It really does help support my page. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see y'all next week. Good morning. Your little gray hairs. When I saw when when we were driving back, you can go. <laughs> Over there by that truck is where our van was parked. Now I guess that we're on our way out, I can show you guys where we were. <laughs> As our time here in Gulfport is officially almost over. Yes? I'm filming. Yeah. Finding probate. <laughs>